All right, so we have two games. We have Arsenal and we have Arsenal Reloaded. Now, both are their own separate games. Arsenal Reloaded will become Arsenal here very, very soon. But for now, you can play Arsenal Alpha Testing for about a week. And we're going to be comparing the two of these side by side. And we're going to be doing this every single time they they put new stuff into Arsenal Reload, if it is feasible. As you can see, I got a monitor with, with good refresh rate, so it should look good right now. But when I go into games, it's gonna look a bit wonky as I don't have my tower for my PC yet. So my like, yeah, let's start comparing with the menu. You're literally free, box to you, dog So first we're gonna start off with Arsenal's menu. Now, it's pretty simple, pretty polished. We got deploy, locker, and shop, and all our other essentials down here. Spawn menu is pretty simple. The locker is pretty simple too. I think the shop for the new player can be a little bit hard to navigate, but you can easily go to the shop and to the locker from each locker and shop. Our career page, server browser, codes, achievements, and settings. And we can also change our out. We also change the theme of our menu as well. And here we have the Arsenal Reloaded menu. Now when we press deploy, we have a cool little animation for all the teams, which I really like. In our locker, we have everything will have a description to it, which I think is pretty cool. And also we can click on victory themes, which we shouldn't be able to click on. In the store, it is kind of also set up like in Roblox Arsenal. We have the daily, the cases, the bundles, and the beat box. But we can't view cases and bundles yet in Arsenal Reloaded, but we can still view the daily shop and buy something and in our badges it shows us when we got these badges so as you can see i got my first kill i got my first win on april 21st 2019 bro i've been playing this game for three years let's move on to in game so in arsenal here let's go ahead and spawn into the game a simple countdown very very simple countdown and when we walk around it is pretty solid pretty stationary there's a little bit of animation and some weapons scoping in is pretty simple shooting is pretty simple not a lot of movement with anything really and we can emote gameplay can be pretty simple not too hard for someone to learn and you can learn a lot of things like how to jump properly to get around the map faster but that's something for another time and now in Arsenal Reloaded, we can deploy and we can press blue team. Show them who's boss, all right. We got a pretty cool going in intro. So I forgot to mention in Ars in real Arsenal, the UI is pretty simple, but in this one, it's a bit more sharp, a bit more stylish, like kind of like a racing game. And all the guns have their own all the guns have their own out animation where whenever you equip one for the first time, it's like you're reloading the weapon and then you can start shooting people. All weapons are basically the same like they were in Arsenal Reloaders that they're a bit more fluent now, but it's a bit choppy. Inspect element inspecting is still the same, it's just they're a bit more fluent. Your movement is a bit more fluent as well. And sometimes you can even double jump in the air, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure how that happens. Like, not sure if that's a mechanic that they meant to put in, but yeah. Overall, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to the movement in this game, as it's not like Arsenal. Because you move a lot faster with the knife as you do with the gun, like a regular Arsenal. And one thing that I mentioned in the last video is that it is poorly, poorly optimized. I have everything off, textures on and it's just not that optimized at all and it kind of sucks and one thing we can't do in here is that we can't emote there's no emotes implementing the arsenal reload yet as a person who's been playing arsenal for three years it's kind of like it's kind of like having to relearn arsenal all over again like i'm a new player but i kind of already have knowledge on the game now what I think Arsenal needs is we need something on here that leads people to Arsenal Reload so that we can get more feedback and to get more people on Arsenal Reload actually to see the f so people can see the future of Roblox Arsenal. So I'm like, yeah, I hope you guys put something on here where it leads people to Arsenal Reload whenever it goes into testing sometimes. Am I? Like, yeah. Apart from having to relearn Arsenal all over again, I do see a lot of potential in Arsenal Reloaded, and I think it's going to be very fun for everyone. Once all the bugs get fixed and we all learn the new mechanics of Arsenal Reloaded, it's going to be a very fun game for all of us. It's also going to be very fun when it's 
fully optimized, and I have- I will definitely have my PC by the time Arsenal Reload comes out fully. And, uh, yeah, subscribe for more Roblox Arsenal.